Yeah, actually, the, the first thing we're going to say, so obviously this is this is the first episode of Intoxicated Inside back, we've ever back, recorded. Back. Hey! So, now I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, you may or may not be able to tell that we've had a few beers, but obviously that's the whole idea. So, no, the first me, thing I'll never, say... No, no, no. <laughs> never, man, like, see, never drank in my life. The first thing I'll say, which I'll never say, hit, hit subscribe. Obviously, that's important um, and you'll get to see much more content like this. But I'll hand over to Seasling, Brighton's OG... Triple OG. The first talking point. Well, first of all, big up to my brother Laurie, Discovery Rap, every day. You know how Seasley Boy does. Anything that's positive, anything that's moving forward, anything that's good, I'm involved with, you know what I mean? So, love always to Discovery Rap. Let's get it! So yeah, we put out um, we put a post out on um, Instagram, Insta, like yeah. an Instagram story. You know how they do the um, little question, question. That's it. Asking for people to give us some topics to talk about, and um, out of all eleven billion t <laughs> and million t one um, answers that we received, the most popular one, probably about thirty million or so yeah, people. We got like six. They wanted us to discuss how to stay sane, how to stay positive mm. during the current times we're living in, which is, of course, the lockdown um, and uh, this fucking global pandemic shit that's popping mm. up. Mm-hmm. So for me, <clears throat> first thing I'll say is you cannot um, blame yourself because this is one of those things that's like, it's not your fault. It's not my fault. Someone's definitely to blame, but Andrew probably. Andrew. Oh, that no might be the s- first talking point. Yeah, today. who's to blame? Ooh, that's a sticky one. Still, <laughs> <laughs> Heady what? But it could be. Um, it could be a situation where you're like, ah, oh, this is you know, I'm stuck mm. in this situation. It's just me. Everyone's going through the same shit, or everyone's going through similar shit. Um, you cannot. You cannot blame yourself, and you cannot. Um, you know, don't hold yourself accountable. It's one of those mm. things where mm. a lot of people are going through the same shit, no matter what level of life you're at, whether you've got kids, you're about to have kids, you're mm. not going to have kids, you're single, you're married, you're in a relationship, you've got a flat on your own, you live with, you're in a student flat, mm. <clears throat> you're a politician, you're a fucking whatever. It's one of those things, isn't it? I mean, you can't, you can't, um, what would you say, like, day-to-day things that you can do, like, whether that's go for a run, do this, do that, what would you say day-to-day things you can do to ensure that, that you deal with the lockdown in the best light? First thing I'll say is some don'ts. That's don't get, start, don't get mash up every day. Mm. Because the amount of people I see that I know work in professional industries and they're like, I don't know what to do. I wake up in the morning... I'm getting paid 80% of my wages. Mm. I can't do my job. And they're just like, quarter past 10, yeah. Let's have a gin. Let's yeah, have yeah, a red yeah. wine. Let's have a rum and coke. Let's have whatever. <clears throat> that is, um, that's a slippery slope unless you have um, a strong mindset and you are able to say to yourself, okay, today I'll do that. Tomorrow I won't do that. Mm. You know, that's easier not, said than done, though, exactly. isn't it? It's not, it's not an easy thing to do. Um, I remember in the first lockdown for me, um, so I, I by the way, just like because obviously we're talking about furlough and you're saying you're relating it to the first lockdown and today, yeah, we'd have to look at statistics. But do you <clears> feel <throat> there are more people on furlough now than there was on the first lockdown? How, how do you think, from like an external perspective, what do you think that looks like? Being completely honest, I have no idea, neither do I, and um. I don't really care. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Respect it. <laughs> I'm not on furlough. I quit my job two days before before the first lockdown. And the reason I quit my job was because I wanted to stop working in an office, managing telecoms, mm-hmm. and pursue music full time. Mm-hmm. I mean, I earn a decent bit of money from music. 100. Enough to not work a nine to five office job. That's but, it. You know, music's one of those things like you can't force creativity. Um, so I. For me, it was like, keep working your normal job, and then after, in your time of leisure, you yeah, yeah. go and get creative and make your music, blah, blah, blah. But it occurred to me, I was like, fuck this shit, man. You're unhappy. In your... Do you want to work in a fucking office forever, telling mm. this person to get back on the phone, or you haven't sent that email yet, blah, blah, blah. 
that's not the life I want. Hundred. So I, it was a long build up. Um, I had a I had a break up with a long term partner. Okay. And uh, it was just a like a turning point in life. I was like, mm-hmm. you know, what? I need to do something drastic. Mm-hmm. Um, whatever the fuck it is. So I quit my job, and two days later. Great Britain is on lockdown mm. and I didn't get furloughed. Fuck. And what, what were you thinking at that point in time? Were you thinking like, I don't really care the fact that I'm not furloughed because I've got myself into a better situation. <clears throat> or were you thinking, fuck me, if I would have just left it another couple Mate, of days then... being completely honest, the way I was feeling at the time, there were a lot of dark thoughts going through my head. I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to drink myself to death. Or yeah, yeah. Fucking... There were a lot of dark thoughts. Being completely honest, mm. like... I was in a bad place at that time. Mm. I was like, fuck, man. The world's really slapped me in the face with shit on its hand. Do you know what I mean? Backhand slap with shit on its palm. Mm. Mm. And not even just normal dog shit. Like, you know, like the like the white Festering. dog shit that's been there for oh, ages. Yeah. Like, or like the watery dog shit. Mm. Yeah. You know, or no, one, I guess a Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> that's how it felt, man. I was like, fucking hell, man. I felt I've quit my job to go and pursue my dreams mm-hmm. of becoming a world famous mega star mm-hmm. in music or whatever the fuck mm-hmm. it was I do mm-hmm. and uh, oh no everyone's on lockdown you can't do shit mm-hmm. and I had a lot of uh, gigs planned around the world man um, oh, yeah. so I just got back from Amsterdam and Croatia oh shit back to back Croatia where, where did you go in Croatia like we anyone? went to a, a place called Trinets um, those uh, uneducated folks will probably know it as Trinet but it's actually <laughs> called Trinets this is a place in the mountains. Uh, we stayed in um, okay. an amazing paragliding resort. Oh shit! So it was. Um, Did you paraglide? Nah, nah, nah. I would have. I would have loved to. Scared. Scared. Nah. <laughs> the only thing I'm scared of is dying before I fulfilled my potential. Yes. No man. Hopefully the wide angle gets up. That's the only thing I'm scared of, man. Shit. Anyway. So back to this. Uh, it was a writers' camp, all in mm. collective. Shout out my family, Chrissy Ranks, Dunno. Um, we did this writers camp out in um, in Trinets mm-hmm. and uh, Trinets, and it was like on a on a mountain, okay, in a paragliding complex or some shit, mm-hmm. and like snow everywhere. Like I mean, talking like a foot of snow and in shit. Croatia. It was what amazing. What time are you? Uh, February. Okay. Yeah, man. Because obviously, I, I've been to Croatia like a few times in the summer, higher summer, and it's hot. Like, you kind of look slightly like Eastern European. You know what I mean? Hey, me. Instead of like a lorry, you could be like a. Vladimir, <laughs> you seen the, you seen the face. By the way, I wait. Uh, no, <laughs> and you got the, you got like the sly. Um, sly. I'm not saying you're pale, but you got like the sly. Me and my boy Bo always used to say mm. this, sh- this shit about people that have got blonde hair, like okay. mad white blonde yeah, hair, like yeah. bleach blonde. Their skin's always mad red, isn't it? Okay. And we used to call them red hot chili breaders. I like that. I like that. I'm not saying you're red hot chili breader because <laughs> you got the blonde hair, but. You've got the, it's the same. You've got the Eastern Bloc look, like you know what I mean? Like, I'll take it as a compliment. And you're like, you are you look like you're in good shape, pause yeah. on homo. Yeah. You look like the kind of guy, like if you, if I was in a, walking through an alleyway, mm. and they were like, there might be a geezer that's going to pop out. He might be a troll, he might be a fucking <laughs> dwarf, or he might be a fucking Polish unit. Yeah. If you came out, I'd be like, yeah, Polish unit. Yeah, like, game over. Uh, Sizzlin, I've come to break your neck. You know what I mean? <laughs> you can pass us that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, um, God, I'm not sure how uh, Polish unit. Take us a compliment. Unit. Yeah, I love no, my Polish guns, man. I love my Polish No, but in terms Tiskier, of like... Tiskier, Juviets. This, is, this is the point of the show, though, by the way. I'm not sure how Polish unit lorry relates to getting through, getting, getting through <laughs> lockdown, but... Push it's the point of the show, by the way. It's the point. But yes, yeah, so obviously you went through this this writing camp in Croatia where it was snowy. I don't know how it could be snowy in Croatia, etc. But not Croatia. Flashback. Those uh, uneducated folks will probably know it as Trinic. End of flashback. Czech Republic. No, no, Czech Republic. Not Croatia. It was definitely Czech Republic. Oh, now, bro, I apologise to all my Czech, uh, <laughs> my Czech family. I apologise, I've let you down. And I, you know, cross my wires. Right, okay. I'm going to intervene here and say, so the way, we, <laughs> the way we started this off, which was on topic, was we talked about the don'ts. So, obviously you said, like, oh, shit, yeah. don't drink every day when you get up because obviously you have to have an incredible amount of uh, self-discipline to yes. fulfil that lifestyle, which was the way it started. And then yes. we just 
went on tangents. So, so remind me to not go on a different tangent. No, 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 no. No, it's good. It's good. It's Isn't good. it funny it's how when you've had a drink, you spiral out of control in terms of Intoxicated insight, baby. Intoxicated in insight. Tangents. Anyway, don'ts. Go with the so, do's, though, now. Well, don't get fucked up every day. Yeah. Because it's easy to fall into a trap of um, drinking every day. I mm. love a drink. Mm. Um, always have, always will. Uh, we, some people oh. get... St- oh, no. <laughs> don't worry about it. Edit out. Edit some out. people smoke weed and shit, oh. so they like to get stoned every day or whatever. Some people have an ability to be able to intoxicate themselves with whatever substance day in, day out, and not fall off. They just carry on their um, day-to-day living. They could have kids, they could have a job that's fucking a lot of people are reliant upon, whatever. And they can, they can, they can smash it. Some people, like, I've seen, I've seen motherfuckers have like, one or two drinks too much. You know them people that are like, I don't really drink. Mm. But they come out with you, Mm. and then you go to that one party or that one event. And they're not. Yeah, they have a drink, and then they're wild, you know what I mean? Like buck wild. Or they smoke one too many togs on a zoot, and they start bugging out. Like, for me, you have to look after the vehicle, the mm-hmm. vessel that carries you as a person. Yeah, so someone that I used to work with, so, oh, to be, can someone see me if I like shout out a specific workplace and a specific managing director? Mate, I swear you can get Fuck sued it. for breathing these days, bro. Right, okay, so, it's in so he used to do a tour. Oh, he you actually to, said the brother's name? Nah, yeah, I did, I did. I kind of, like, we what's, might edit that. what's peak is... His first name's Paul, which is my old man's name. Yeah. And for me, my old man is like the Don. Well, and then Thomas in... is my real name. Okay. And so this guy's called Dad TC. You know. What well, it sounds like he's called to me, but no, this is good insight to be fair. And if he's it, a it relates then, to. Then nah, 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 he's a good guy. He's a good guy. Oh, I've seen. I thought you were gonna. Yeah. No, 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 not at all. Not really? at all. But I just, I just didn't want to portray him in the wrong light. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. Anyway, so he used to do a talk about. A Bentley Bentayga, so obviously like incredible car. Da, 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 I have no da, da. idea, bro. Right, okay, so the best car you can I'm think of. The least in the car-y world. person ever. Uh, do you know what? What do you like? You know, remember the TV show Brum? Yeah. That's like the most thing I know about cars. Okay. My my brethren, my boy, he's got an i8. That's a sick car. Mm. Then, then oh, it's paint. Like, like, Goldwing. Yeah, yeah, like an eagle, like, <laughs> like seagulls, like an arm. Seagulls. Eh? Anyway, they call it. He's got a sick whip like that. Um, but I've never been into cars, man. No, well, what, never have, what are, never will. What are you into, briefly? Um, like, what's the most expensive? If you were a billionaire, what would you buy tomorrow? If I was a billionaire, yeah. Well, when I was a billionaire, what I used to buy was. So, if I was a billionaire, what would I buy tomorrow? And that will relate to the um, point I'm about to. What I'd like to say, I would buy the means to cure everybody of being in any fucked up situation. Like, All right, it has to be material. illness and fucking viruses, Mm -hmm. um, fucked up, third world dictatorship, Mm -hmm. bullshit, all that shit. But I always believe that, and this will probably get me killed in the future, but I'm going to say it now. I think, right, if you're in a position of power and you have money Mm -hmm. that can change like a huge amount of people's lives. So let's say like a country gets fucked up by an Mm -hmm. earthquake and you've got bare millions or billions or whatever and you can go there and like build all the houses back up and create shelters and give them all food and blah 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 if you can do that for me I think the world is so fucked up that these kind of things are almost planned or people in higher positions know about them before they happen Mm. that when somebody with a good heart comes along with a load of money and goes oh I want to help all these people they're like Nah, fuck we need, to, we, need yeah, to, yeah, yeah. we need to get rid of this geezer before he fucking. Mm, you know what I mean? mm. Like literally, prime example. <coughs> let's say the island of um, Buckfast Red Stalapia is an island with a hundred thousand people, mm-hmm. and on the news it's like, oh shit, um, the weather. What are them motherfuckers called that plan the not plan uh, the weather, weather forecast there. But the people that know what are going with the weather, like, oh, sure. there's going to be snow next week, there's going to be them, man. Yeah. Or, like, the tectonic plate shifts. Yeah, gonna yeah, happen. yeah, yeah. So there's going to be an earthquake. There's going to be a fucking um, tidal wave, whatever. If them, man, are like, yo, this island's about to get fucked up, everyone in there's going to die, and then you'd hope people around the world mm. would be like, oh, let's all chip <clears> in to get all these people off the island and sort them out a place to stay, blah, blah, blah. And then when the fucking natural disaster's over, they can go back, we can real bit rebuild mm. their home, blah, blah. Mm. But let's just say the world is not up for that. 
and you have a rich celebrity, let's say it's an actor, let's say it's a musician, let's mm-hmm. say it's a famous athlete who's like, I've got fucking 80 million quid, I can spare a few, let me save the whole island, I'll mm-hmm. pay for it, I'll pay mm-hmm. for it. It's funny how every time that particular person dies in a mysterious accident or some kind of fuck up. Mm-hmm. Like, that shit scares me, man. Because for me. Can you obviously. I'm guessing you'll talk about this for a reason and you've got experience looking into these sorts of things. Can you name a specific person which has got into one of these situations which has died from a fuck up? What's the geezer from um, the fucking car film? Fast and uh, Furious. Furious uh, Paul, Paul Walker? Paul. Oh, is it Paul Walker? We can edit it out if we don't, but yeah, I think it is Paul Walker, yeah. So that geezer. Me, I'm massive, massively into my conspiracies. Uh, I hear, yeah. And of course, there's a certain level where it's like, no, nah, mate, you're just fucking, you're being mm, really paranoid. Mm, mm. But for me, I always like to look into the other reasons or Wagwan, what you didn't know about, etc., etc. I heard that his brakes got cut in his car. Okay. And if, this is going to sound slightly stupid, but if this guy is acting in a fucking car movie franchise, like bare films, mm-hmm. years and years and years, He's probably got a bit of skill in a car. Oh. And you're telling me the guy died in a car crash? Not even just that, is it? It's, it's, it's like, more the fact that this geezer's rich. Of course. He's in the public eye. He gets his car checked. He, he doesn't get an MIT once a year. He gets a service once a month. Like. Freak accidents, of course, happen. But they were saying this guy was speeding and mm. he crashed into a tree. Mm. It's like... <clears throat> What is like a like a like a Sunday afternoon just crashed into a tree at a million? There's like a hundred miles an hour yeah, or some yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. and people are saying like, "Yo, his brakes were cut, etc., etc." If this guy's in Fast and Furious, like shit, he must have had right. some trains in cars. You know what I'm saying? But the other thing is, and rest in peace to that guy, and obviously mm-hmm. blessings to his family. Like it's so far detached from me. When I talk about it, I almost have to rem- not have to, but I do remember, like. That guy was somebody's dad, somebody's course, sister, yeah. somebody's cousin, somebody's uncle. So obviously, you know, love and blessings yeah, and yeah. respect and condolences to 100%. that guy's family. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but like, this guy was um, apparently, now I may get the country wrong or whatever, he was like doing some kind of charity work of like Haiti or some shit okay. after like an earthquake yeah, yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. typhoon or a fucking whirlwind or some some kind of natural disaster fucked up one place and he was the guy the guy that was like like, like yeah yeah and there's all kinds of political fucked up shit that i don't know about and i don't Mm. want to you know what i mean but and he fucking got killed Mm. same as kobe bryant now this is a mad one this is a mad one wait i'm gonna piss myself can we if you want to piss yourself I'd rather you just go to the toilet. Like, I'm yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep rock. Hey, we can pause it. I need to piss as well. Oh, now that you said oh, it. Um, a wise man once told me. Go on, It was my boy, Boise. Boy. I remember saying, oh, I need to piss. And he was like, a wi- he, he told me that a wise man once told him, don't go when you need to, go when you can. Oh, so I if can I can go for piss, I'll go for piss. Shit, and we'll come back and smash up more... Uh, do you, reckon, oh, do you reckon we should quickly tie the topic up because oh, I'm gonna die? Nah, with it. I think leave it, man. Because right. it's, it's bare, genuine, and raw. You know what I mean? And I think it's, it's too like, oh, and, and um, now oh, we're speaking about this. <laughs> well, we went off on like a fuck off tangent on. But words. it was sick, though. It was sick, it was sick, and it's gonna be good when, when people view it. But yeah, so first topic was obviously how's coping lockdown. I feel like we went into that, so we're gonna move on. And we're going to have to be like strategic on these last three topics. And I'm actually going to set a timer, which was the original goal. So I'm going to put five minutes, five minutes, five minutes on each. So I feel like, I feel like I'm going to get in trouble for for some of these topics. So what are we going to, right, fuck it. Let's go. So death penalty in England, should it be there or not? Let's it depends on what you've done. And that is the easiest answer. But let's say you raped a three-year-old kid mm. and cut their head off and threw it at a wall. Yeah. Like, yes, you should be fucking death penalty up. My um my little brother, by the way, is like I'll always shout him out like he's Your little brother killed something. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> nah, but my little brother is like super, super intelligent. Like, I think he's going to be Prime Minister of England in the future. But anyway, so what he said yesterday when we were talking about this, I was like, I think there should be a death penalty. I think that it should be obviously dependent on what the, the crime is. And I think for severe cases, there should be a death penalty. And what he said, which is actually a really good point, he said there are certain people that will do these things. Like, let's say we agree that molesting a young boy, young girl, is you should... Yeah. <laughs> of course it's not. So let's say those things, we agree that you should be given death penalty for. So my little brother, he said, there are people that will do those things just so, so they can be given the death penalty, but by being given the death penalty, they will go down in history, if that makes sense. So yes, you do understand. these things, you go down in history, and then all the other people that are thinking these sick things will think, ah, oh, that guy that got put to death, he's now down in history. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, well, I think one thing that's um, commonly brought up with the death penalty is if somebody's done a crime so bad that they should be killed for it, if you kill them, are they then... Are they then um, relieved of their uh, guilt and their their fuckery? Mm. You know what I mean? If you kill them, mm. who knows what happens when you die? It might not be people in white clothes in the clouds dancing around daisy chains singing come by up. Mm. It might be fire and brimstone and fucked up shit. So if you kill someone that's done a fucked up thing, are you then relieving them of their... That's it. The suffering that many people believe they should suffer because mm -hmm. of what they've done. So for me, I would say death penalty, no. But <clears throat> there's some people I'd give the death penalty to. Man. Yeah, that's it. Like, that's what I was saying to my dad. My dad was like... Who am I, uh, who am I to, to say? You know what I mean? You're right. Yeah, but there was some people, and my dad included, that were saying, oh, don't talk about it, like whether you should do the death penalty on the programme because, like, it's been spoken about before this, that, and the other. And I was like, yeah, I kind of agree, but at the same time, like, it's not been discussed by two pissed-up blokes in the studio at it's the end of the day, so, so that's, in, that's important. But, no, I feel like I agree with... I agree with both sides. I agree with the people that say, like, they need to suffer, they need to... Uh, be accountable for what they've done. I agree with all of that. But at the same time, I do think there are certain crimes that are inexcusable and that it should just be yeah. the end of life. Not not just because it should be the end of life at that point in time. It's more about the repercussions in the future that if you forgive those people, what, sure. what could they... What One could they thing potentially... I'll ask you, Laurie, in your opinion, what is the ultimate punishment? Because if it's death, Bro. who is around to say, yeah... I don't I, think I, I don't, don't think that it was death... so bad that do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's it's, it's an amazing question. I would it's, say it's it's one like that's relieving you of living with You're right. Your fucked upness. Mm. You know what I mean? But who knows? Who knows what happens when you die, so Yeah, it's tough. You might get it? killed and then go to what people call heaven and like I say, come by my lord, mm. everyone dressed in white, dancing around with daisy chains and shit. Or you might go to hell, fire and brimstone and <coughs> shit, you know what I mean? What's that yeah. called? Um, Inferno. Dante's Inferno. Mm -hmm. You might go to that shit, you know what I mean? Who knows? It's hard to say, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, no. So I'll... for me, an <coughs> ultimate answer, death penalty, no. Because there's not enough evidence to back up whether it works or not. And there never will be. Never has been. No, never there will. never will be. No, you're right. Yeah, no, it's a tough one. Do you know what? Right. I'm always right. Ah. Even when I'm wrong, I'm right. Shit. You know what I'm saying? And having said that, next topic. Next topic. Let's go. Yeah. If you have something in your tongue you wanted to spill, go for it. I don't think Never I do. Hold back. Never I don't think I do. Right. So. so we've done. Stay sane in lockdown, which we did, but we actually never defined how to stay sane. We need to move on though. Just quickly, exercise, go out for walks, speak to people. Yeah. Right. Online. Done. Work out. We done. Text. What's up? We done. Hold up, um, me. If you feel fucked up, shit. Hold up, your boy. I mean, I speak to motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? We did. Death penalty. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, fuck it. Right, let's go into it. I'm going to get told off for this, but we're going to do Captain Tom. So, before I go into anything and oh, anyone shit, slates me, shit, like, what I'm going to say is, obviously, oh, this no, guy shit. is an absolute legend that did things at his age that no one else would do 
and that raised an absolute incredible amount of money for probably the best thing that the UK stands for, which is the NHS. So I'm just going to get that out there before we go into this topic. Hold time, my guy, man, Captain Tism. 100%. So where I'm going to go with this, um, so the problem that I have with Captain Tom dying is the aftermath. So it's the social media attention for me, which... Oh, I'm going to get so told off for this, but basically... Speak what, your mind, bro. Speak your mind. Speak in my mind. So the thing that fucks me off is that everyone on social media will hop on something because they believe it is the right thing to do. So if I speak what I'm thinking and speak what I've thought in the past, so Captain Tom dies. If we're being honest with each other, 18, 19, 21, 20, da-da-da-da-da, all the early adolescent years, if we're being honest with each other, we don't give a fuck that he died. <laughs> Hear me out. So it's not the case that we don't respect what he did. We respect what he did. But will you wake up tomorrow after he's died and think, oh, I can't believe that guy's died. Have you, the night before, posted on your Instagram, RIP, I'm so heartbroken, I'm so this, I'm so that. Yes, you have, and it's fake. That's the problem that I have with it. It is fake. You speak on some real shit right now, man. I, Do you know, I feel you, bro. I feel you. It's, it's, it's the thing. It's about the generation. It's people will do stuff that they believe other people will like them for. So let's say your best friend, you're, you're 22 years old, and you're thinking, oh, if I post Captain Tom with some broken heart emojis, <clears throat> people are going to think I'm a good person. Do you well, actually care about it? No. It's the herd mentality, isn't it? Oh, so-and-so posted it. And they're my friend. I respect them. Um, so I'm going to copy their trend. Or a collective uh, of people. Mm. Do you know what the same principle the same is? Thing, so the same, the same the principle is the black square. Yeah. You're exactly right, bruv. For me... This is the thing. How come you didn't do it before? Mm. This is it. And it's not, nine times out of ten, it's not because you didn't care about it. It wasn't brought to the frontal lobe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, if I found out tomorrow that there's a new species of animal that's invisible to us mm. and they suffer every day, but we can't see them. There's been a discovery. Oh, the invisible fucking hippopotamus mm. suffers every day because they have to be around humans. And someone was like, yo, man, we're trying to raise awareness for this thing. Blah, blah, blah. It's a good cause. I'd be like, yo, man. You're on it, yeah. Shout out to the invisible hippopotamus. It's shit, you know what I mean? Hippopotamus. <laughs> hippopotamus. It's one of those things, isn't it? When it becomes... Um, apparent to you the level of care mm. is exposed yeah in a good way yeah yeah, I mean, yeah. when well, I say level of care is exposed I mean like if you're a good person <clears throat> a good natured person kind hearted person if you're um, if you're shown mm. a situation um, a species of animal a mm. tribe of mm. people, mm. whatever it is, that are suffering, and it's now coming to light. Yeah, you'd be like, "Oh shit, man! Yeah, I want to help them yeah, motherfuckers yeah. too. Shit, I want to help them motherfuckers." The you problem, I mean? the problem I have with it is, is it's people. It's a problem that I have in a lot of things, not just this situation. <clears throat> it's people capitalizing on a tragic situation for their own social status. So if I expand on that, it's an you right 18 year old man, woman, boy, girl, etc. However you want to describe it. So they see Let Captain me post it, Tom, else posted it. they see something tragic has happened in the world. Let's not be specific. And they say, oh, well, actually, my friends posted it. So let me post it. Therefore, all of my following will look at it and think I'm a great person because actually I care about this. When deep down, they don't give a fuck. That's that's the bad thing. It's about capitalising on a tragedy, on someone's death, 
to let me elevate say, let your me own so, social status. This is the sad thing. Unfortunately, a social media post is you contributing these days. It requires no effort other than this part of your brain mm. connecting with that part of your nerve system. It's not even that. To go down to here, to go, oh yeah, boom. Boom. There, There's no... Um, empathy. Well, there is. You would have posted mm. it if there was no empathy. But if you really, really cared, mm. you would go out of your way to do more. 100%. Because somebody who's empathetic, somebody who's sympathetic, somebody that cares and really, really wants to help out a situation will go above and beyond. It's just like somebody going, like I said, oh, we just found there's a new... Um, oh, did you... We just found out that walls mm. actually have feelings and emotion. And they have to fucking be around our shit and hear mm -hmm. humans every day and be touched and have dirty fingers smeared on them and blah, mm. blah, and have a light switch stuck to them and shit. It's the same shit. Oh, oh, all this time I never knew. Now I'm going to start mm. um, giving a fuck. Mm -hmm. it's You're that, right. It's that, bruv. And the sad thing is, after that post, after that click of that enter... I hear what you're about to say. That post button. It's the feeling. It's gone. And I am no different because it's happened to me many a time. Mm. I've seen something that a friend or some an acquaintance or somebody I've met, somebody I follow on social media trends has posted a thing about, the sh you know, oh, um, we need to stop wasting... Um, Metal screws. Yeah, yeah. We need to stop wasting carpet. Oh, bottle caps are yeah, being thrown yeah, yeah. into the ocean. Plastic bags aren't being used. Biodegradable. Da, 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 da. It's like, oh, it, I could repost that. Mm. And there's also this is the deepest thing, bro. And this is what most people don't think about. People think about their story timeline. Mm more than they think of the cause, yeah. the effect. Yeah. So yeah. your timeline could be a repost of someone going, let's support these fucking third world kids that have no money, no water, no food. We need to raise money for them. Sponsor this link, click mm. this link, donate. You could share that. Mm. Oh, um, Johnny the blue whale, is, mm. he's, he's the last blue whale in the world. Oh, oh, oh. You post that. Mm. Repost that. But where is the oh shit? These kids are actually dying out here. These kids mm. don't have food. These mm. kids don't have water. Mm. These kids have sh fuck all. These kids are getting fucked up in these streets, in these motherfucking third world fucked mm. up mm. shits. Let me put my energy into That's helping that. them out. Yeah. Really, really. Yeah. Let me go. Oh, I've got to pay my rent this month. Mm. And I've got to pay my bills. That's 700 quid. What have I got left? I need 50 quid to go and get a fucking bit of weed or a mm. bit of fucking yard or a bit of Mandy or my Netflix subscription. Actually, let me cancel that shit and let me go take a flight out there and go help sort of, and start yeah. building corrugated roofed mm. yards. Let me go mm. put some motherfucking breeze That's blocks real. in the mud That's real. and build these fucking young niggas some cribs and shit. Let me go save these Indian kids that are drinking water that's got fucking Fuck wiggly worms well, in the yeah. shit. Mate, they got there's the shit out there that can swim up your dick, bruv. You can take a piss in a fucking stream it's in mad. some fucked up country. It's mad. And there's shit that will swim up your dick it's mad. into your dick and then start eating your insides, bruv. And motherfuckers will be worried gone, about man. Fuck the time, bruv. Oh! This is real shit. Motherfuckers will be more focused on Oh yeah. should I or shouldn't I? Yeah. Someone posted it. I'll click like, but I won't repost it. Yeah. Or I viewed it. That's enough. Yeah. But, and what I was saying with the timeline thing is, uh, I know I went mad off tangent. No, no, it's just, but it's no, like, but you're right though, I'm, I'm guilty of this. So let's say I've got a new single to promote. Or I've got a new bit of merch or whatever it is, video, whatever it is. Yeah. Or I've got enough, if, if I've got fuck all to promote. Yeah, yeah. Me cooking a fucking egg and yeah, egg yeah. sandwich. I don't want my feed to be clouded, but by um, 
Mm-hmm. Sponsor the whale fund. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's like, nah, my, the fucking eggs and steak I just cooked are much better. Yeah, more. That's what I want people to go, yo. And it just comes down to the uh, sincerity. Prioritisation. Why are you on these fucking platforms in the first place, bro? Do you know what I'm saying? 100%. You hear me? 100%. Why did you download Facebook? Why did you download Instagram, TikTok, or fucking Hibbity Hop, whatever they are, these apps? It's a load of bollocks, most of it, to be honest. But And I think in, a, in an ideal world, most people would love to make money from their posts because there are these people that make money from that shit, you know what I mean? You know I, can't, I can't lie, man. I get paid for my Instagram shit. Mm. Like, it's not um, life-changing money, mm. but... Sometimes my fuckers be like, yo, can you post this picture and mention oh, us or whatever? Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's like, sick, get paid for that. Why the fuck not? Yeah. And that will make somebody go, oh, something really important, like, you know, there's only two tigers left in the world. Mm. You'll go, yeah, but I'd rather get that extra 30 quid for 100. that post, that extra 150 for the fucking mention or whatever. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's one of them ones, man. It's, it's, it's deep, it's but not. it's true. Yeah. And so I hope, like, I don't think it'll ever change. I think it'll get worse. No, yeah. I think people will start. I reckon eventually there'll be a way to watch somebody's story without, without watching it. Watch it. Kind of oh, okay. So I'm saying, like, yeah, it's mad. How many views have I had? Oh, 800. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then somebody like, I'll watch their story. They're like, they're not, they're not, they're not. That, that shit really happens now. It's, it's definitely happens now. Yeah, well, I 100% agree. Whatever we think, no matter how fast fast no matter how far forward thinking we are mm. these we can never get to dosh yeah the way you've done that yeah. you know what I mean these motherfuckers they've written the apps you know what I'm saying 100% no it's a good topic and shout out season for going in depth on that one but Shouts I hope that depth. people don't think that I'm taking shots so I'm absolutely not I'm like respecting an incredible human being what I'm saying is the motives behind people reposting and showing love and this and that and the other they're not genuine they're doing it because not it, everybody not not everybody a, a lot of people though oh definitely but yeah no you're right there are obviously people which are showing respect which are genuine but there's a whole lot of people there are, are saints it. out there there are demons out there same and anything same and anything but anyway no, I, I, I like at the end of the day I just had to like say my bit on it so fuck it Last topic of the night and of the episode. What do you reckon? Um, I've had some fucking stupid topics. Someone like, said veganism. See, so I'm I'm happy to talk about that. I don't know much about it. Though is the only problem. Obviously, I know it's like I'm yeah. happy to talk about it. Oh right, fuck it. it, let's go veganism. So I'm gonna set a timer on this one just so five we're minutes. Just, I can go off on the tag on this shit. Five this minutes. Shit. Right, veganism, um, veganism, let's go. Um, I'm not trying to school you, any, you or anyone. It's just from my own personal experience. So, oh, put it this way. I've been brought up eating meat. Help yourself, bro. Me, Bucky, Sue, Bucky. Come on. This is the thing. So, I've been brought up with um, my mum, who's an incredible cook. My dad, who's a fucking decent cook as well. Mm. And... We've always had meals, sit down with the family, have a meal. Mm. And um, the it's never been, it's never occurred to me until I was a bit older and had more freedom mind-wise yeah, to sure. explore. Oh, how come, um, how come we have that for, mm. how come we eat that every day? Mm. How come we eat that twice a week? Blah, 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 blah. So... One thing that made me change the way I eat and the way I look at food. By the way, before you go on, how do you eat? Are you vegan? Are you vegetarian? I'll, are you? I'll like, explain, explain it. Yeah. I'll explain it. So, I'm I'm 30 years old now. Just turned 30 uh, two month, two or three months ago, October 4th. Shout out my Libras. Big up, bro. Yeah. I always had something wrong with me. I'd go to bed. And I'd have like a weird feeling of like, mm. I'm going to sleep, but something's not right. Mm. I'd have like a weird twitch or a hinge or a weird ailment somewhere or something. 
And I'm like, maybe it's just normal. When I was younger, I had a few illnesses. Like I used to have um, bad eczema when I was a kid. Mm. Um, apparently I had asthma, but I was before I was old enough to remember. Understand what it is, yeah. No, no, just before well, I was older to, old enough to remember. Um, and um, it took until I was probably about 25, 26 for me to go, I've had enough of going to bed feeling like shit. I'm going to die. Yeah. Because the feeling I had every time I go to sleep is like, I'm, I'm about to have a heart attack. Or mm. there's like an overwhelming feeling of like mm. impending doom. It's not anxiety, it's like a physical thing. It's like, my body doesn't feel right. And then it would be like, build up, build up. And I'd be like, oh. Mm. And then like girlfriends I've had at the time, I'd be in bed with, they're like, fucking no, you scared the shit out of me, man. You just flip, like, I'd do like a weird body jolt or mm. something like that. And for me, I'm like, for a long time, I was like, oh, it's just, that's, that, that's what happens every night when I go to sleep. And then, Go for it, go for it, I'll, I'll, I'll do my thing. Oh, I can piss in a can. No, no, go to toilet, bro, go to toilet. I'll still Two stick. Seconds. Is this the last topic? Or have we got one more? Last topic. This is? Yeah. Are you sure? 100%, because you said it. Definitely sure. Are you sure? Right, the first one we did was how to cope with lockdown, which we did for long. Yeah, Second penalty, one we did, the death penalty. Captain Tom. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, we're still recording, right? Like we're, I was saying, bro, like this is this is to people that are going to eventually see this and hear this, also to you as well, bro. Mm. Like I was saying, normal uh, upbringing, family meals each day, or what, what I understand as normal. And you also said, like, both on your father's and mother's side, both sick cooks. That's it. I used to get uh, eczema all over my body, and my family were like, oh, let's take him to a dermatologist. And they're like, oh, um... Do you have pets? We we had cats, two cats. Smoking no. smuggles, whole type of fucking guys. And um, they're like, oh yeah, it's because of the cats. And then they were like, when the cats died, they're like, oh, um, it's because nylon. They used to play basketball, bro. Mm. And what was peak, I remember, when I was younger, I used to play basketball, like Southies and cadets and shit. And like, you weren't allowed to wear a t-shirt underneath your vest. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. So I always used to wear it because I was... Um, I did, I played basketball as well, and I was the same. I was I was self conscious about my arms, so I would Literally, wear a bro, t shirt underneath. The... I, I like like extra mascara all over my body, bro. So they're like, yeah, you can't wear a t shirt. You got to take your t shirt off, like in the middle of the game mm. or before tip off. Mm. So I remember going to the toilet and like looking in the mirror, like you're gonna have to wear a vest. Mm. Like it's deep, bro. Mm. You know what I mean? As a mm. youth, it's deep. No, I understand. Yeah. Nowadays, I'm like, yo, yeah, that's flex. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shit. But as a youth, it was deep, bruv. And it used to fuck up my game, bruv. Mm. Like, I'd be conscious about people looking at, like, mm -hmm. I've got, like, a I rash hear, hear. on my arm or, like, underneath my armpit or some shit. And it used to throw me off mad. That's the last thing I was saying, man. Love to everyone, of course, man. Just, you know what I'm saying? Bless up, man. And discover drop every time. Let's get it. Wait, but fuck knows how much or what points of this conversation have been recorded because There's some gold there, it's intoxicated. It's intoxicated. It's inside. Inside. But there is some of this stuff which has been recorded and like the overall when we dilute it down and we, we get to knit, it's going to be okay. like a moment. It's going to Appreciate be... you, bro. Pick up, man. One love, Oi. one love. This is it. This is it. We move forward. Right. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. This is it. If you could... Shout out. Uh, we're about to hit 11 million subscribers. Just click this button here. Oh. Slash or 369. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe and notification button so you can be up to date with all my latest releases. Hey!